So Jeevan Mukti is while living in Suman's physical body, he recognizes I am not the body. While being in the physical body, Suman recognizes I am not the body mind. And establishes as the Paramakash, not even the witness. I am telling you to go beyond the witness. When you are at the witness level, remember the witness will die with the death of the body. Yeah, I hope you remember this statement from the previous chapters. The witness is born along with the birth of the body and dies with the death of the body. So just establishing in witness is only a middle step. I have to take one more step beyond and it's very easy. It's a very natural journey. It will happen on its own. Okay. Once you get there, then you are Jeevan Mukt. Means what? Jeevan belongs to this body mind. And I thought that with the death of this body mind, I am going to die. I live only till there is Jeevan in this body mind. Now I am mukt of that wrong understanding. I am free. I am liberated of that wrong understanding. So that is called Jeevan Mukt Samadhi. You do not need to close your eyes to do this. It has to be really something that you see with your open eyes. You can start with closed eyes Samadhis and practices because some of us are very consumed in this world. So we need to isolate from the world to begin with. But your final destination is with open eyes. Yeah? That is Jeevan Mukta Samadhi. Yeah? I have established as the Param Akash, but I notice that the body mind is still alive. The body mind is still kicking and breathing. Yes? Now the body mind dies. Do I die? No, I am the Param Akash. Kaivalya Samadhi, Deha Mukti. That is the difference between Jeevan Mukta Samadhi and Kaivalya Samadhi. Very clear. Sa